Hi everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel Theory and Vision. In this video we will talk about the cubes. Today I am with Luke, our engineer, and we're gonna talk about the cubes. Hi guys. So we're gonna go about the same way as usual. We're gonna just discuss, ask some questions, and we'll go towards the video uh, learning more about the cubes. So just to start, this is a cube, as everybody knows. There's different size. There's the 12-12, like this one. There's the 16 by 16, yeah, it's a bit bigger. 20 by 20, really bigger. After 30 by 20 are other type of cubes. And there's this, also uh, some spigot yes. cubes, and this is a plated, the yeah. plated one. So the spigot one, there they have the they don't have the plates here. It's just they have another tubes and with the spigot on it. So don't mix them with with the adapter plates that goes on the boat. It's not the same thing. My first question will be, why the cubes? doesn't have a capacity chart like a standard truss? Yeah, my answer will be <laughs> 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 that uh, there's too many scenarios for a cube. So a cube has six face, so you can uh, attach truss at six different, on the six different side. So there will be too much uh, scenarios, different span uh, to, to attach to a cube. Uh, okay. So to, it, it would be very, very difficult to have an understandable capacity chart okay. that will cover all the scenarios. Because it would be a page, like a document of like 600 pages. Yeah. I'm joking, but yeah. Let, let's say you have two sides, so you have a, a span of 40, uh, 40 feet on that side, you have 20 feet on that side, and you can have uh, different loads like on both sides. And then uh, for another application, you have 40 feet on one side uh, and 80 feet on the other side. So. It's it really, be, uh, really, really a yeah. nightmare to document all of those scenarios. Okay, okay. So we uh, have we have some uh, some ideas, mm -hmm. so that we can look and understand more why there's no capacity chart. Yeah. So if we start with this first one, basic, just we, we're gonna go like just a small image, but the cubes with two two face yeah. use, so it can uh, become a square. So depending, maybe it's a sixty foot square or mm -hmm. the ten by ten. So this way, what is implied for the cubes? Yeah, so <clears throat> we would, like a, a rule of thumb, we will say that uh, you can reduce the capacity chart of the truss by 50%. Okay. So, and the cube will, would be able to take it. Okay. But that's a rule of thumb. Okay. But it, ideally, you'll have to contact us or another engineer just to, to see, to say if, if, it's, if it's fine. Okay. And, and if you want to keep the the span of the truss and the capacity of the truss, you will need to rig the the cube, but by attaching right on the truss and okay. not on the cube. Not on the so, cubes. Okay. So so basically, the cube is there more for geome geometric concerns, so you, you, that you can do some f yeah. different forms with it. But it's important to have in mind that the cube is not there to take the load. So you would have to put your, your sling or your gag flex just before the cube. Okay, at the truss. Uh, on the truss. Yeah, okay. So, and if you want to rig it directly in the cube, uh, maybe we'll have to uh, stiffen the, the cube for that application. Sometimes you can have a, a lifting log inside okay. the cube, but that would be a custom cube. Okay. And if you rig inside the cube, it's the same rule, you go down by 50%. Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. copy that. For the next scenario, if it's a ground support with legs and the same, just a square, yeah. what does it imply for the cube this time? Yeah, it's kind of the same thing as if the, the motor or your gag flex would be attached to the cube directly. Okay. So, because the cube is attached to the leg directly, so you have your uh, the, the the cube itself will take the load so that's where like a scenario like that we will have to reduce the capacity of your truss by 50 percent okay okay and again that's just a rule of thumb if you want the real numbers you'll have to contact an engineer and remember if you have a ground support then your ground support delay as well needs to be checked for the for the kind of load you, yeah. you will put and where you uh, you put your ground support if it's outside or indoor yeah. or yeah. all that stuff. Okay. 
So that's pretty good and it goes for the it goes the same it's kind of the same principle for all the others use you can have on the truss like you said at the mm -hmm. beginning. So like this scenario the cube is as truss at a uh, four face. Yeah. Uh, so you have to hang on the uh, make on the truss. Yeah. If you hang do you have to hang on each truss or if you hang on two truss it's fine. You have to to hang on each truss because again remember that if you hang on only okay. one truss the cube will transfer the load for the rest so for the rest of okay. the truss. So, so you'll need a yeah. four gag flex and a big P ring and uh, yeah. you can do something. Okay. Yeah. And same if you have a legs down it's the same way yeah, or the it's, same okay. thing. Copy that. Just remember that the cube if you want to be really really safe the cube has to take no load at all. Or you'll have to reduce your, your capacity. capacity. Okay. Your, your Copy capacity. that. And uh, this other scenario, it's the same legs with truss. Let's say it's an arc, it will be the same. Okay. Copy that. Okay, so I think that that covered pretty much the capacity charts of the cubes and the way that we can put on. Yeah. And like we, we talked a little bit about it at the beginning, there's the cubes like this one's plated and spigot one. Yeah. So what is the main difference in those one? Yeah. And uh, does uh, is the spigot stronger and does it change? Is it the same thing for hanging the, the, the cubes? Okay. I don't know if you remember at episode 2 we talked about 12-12 truss. Yep. How a plated truss is weaker than a spigot truss. So that's about the same for, uh, for cubes. Thank okay. you. And also uh, a spigot uh, cube would be the same as a, a plated uh, cube. So you'll have to reduce your, your capacity. Thank okay. you by 50%, but since the spigot truss are stronger than the bladed one, you will have more capacity. More capacity. But yeah, the same principle exists. Exists, okay, on the cube. Yeah. I just want to add a question uh, on the cube. So, because a truss, we calculated, like you said, inflection, and uh, they're quite strong, but why the cubes, it's not as strong as, mm -hmm. as a standard truss? Actually, the cube itself is as strong as a truss if it's in used in line. Okay. So if you have like a, on this face, a 20 foot span there and on that face, 20 foot span there, the plate will react as the same as, as a truss. Okay. Your beam inflection will, will do like that. So, so your plate here will be in tension on the bottom and compression at the top. Okay, okay. <clears throat> but with the different scenario you can do with a cube, you can have this effect, but on a 90 degree plane. So this corner here will be very, very affected. Okay. So those two corners, because you'll have that uh, tension at the bottom and compression at the top, but it's really, really close. So this region uh, okay, yeah. would be very, very stressed. Uh, and we'll show some image where you'll see, just for a, a, an imaginative scenario, what happens to the, to the cube. And okay. that's why it's really, really difficult to have a capacity chart that will do all the scenarios okay. for, for the cube. Because people don't usually use a truss, a cube with two truss straight. Right. That's right. Unless it's always you have one three, feet, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. One, say one feet missing. You can do use use your capacity yeah, like yeah. that. Okay, okay. But habitually, it's to do some different forms, Angle angles, and, okay. and stuff like that. Copy that. So, and that's why it's uh, it's weaker than the uh, uh, standard dress. Okay. Yeah. All right. So as usual, guys, leave a comment down below. Subscribe as well. So this way, you'll have all the new videos that that we will uh, release uh, on the later months. And very important to remember, just like we discussed, quality equals safety. See you on the next one, guys.